Hello everyone. It is January, I think 20th, and um, I'm finally making another video. I took some time off for Christmas and um, and the new year, and uh, I, I ended up going to Florida last week. Um, went down to Cinnaba Island with my son, and that was really nice. Um, so, but even when I was down there, I was like, I gotta get back and do some pottery. And uh, so, you know, I like to do a lot of, um, well, one of some of my favorite bowls I've made are the ones I do with my, uh, like, finger painting. And then I draw on there, and it's kind of graffiti, or, I, I, you know, I call them doodle bowls. So this is, this is a conglomeration, really, of doodle bowls, graffiti, um, and I've, and I've seen a lot of people do mono printing, and that's become really popular. Um, gosh, I, I won't be able to bring up some of their names. Uh, some of the artists and potters who do a really good job of um, the mono printing. But you'll see a lot of um, potters doing um, like graffiti work. And um, it's just, it's like their pots tell a story. You know, their mugs tell a story. And this is kind of a, so I've been kind of playing around with this. And like I said, if you have seen some of my work where I do the, the finger painting and all the different colors on my bowls, and then I go back in with um, an Azayam applicator bottle. I don't know if you can see that. And then I, you know, draw all the designs in by hand. Well, kind of thought, like I said, I've seen these other artists do all this graffiti type stuff. And so anyway, so I've been kind of playing around with it. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. See, so there's different colors, and then there's stamps, uh, and then there's, you know, I took the Zyam applicator bottle and drew the little fish, but um, I have so many rubber stamps. I don't know if you guys do, but I had an addiction to rubber stamps, and um, one, of my, one of my best friends was a Stampin' Up rep, and oh my gosh, I, you know, I had all these bins, and we used to make cards and stuff with them, but I, yeah, I don't make cards anymore. And um, so they've been sitting in these bins and I thought, what am I gonna do with these things? And then of course I had to buy buy more when I decided to do this mono printing. <laughs> so here's another one I did. And like I said, this is just like a, so you can see all the different colors on there. And then there's stamps. You can see the, this is a stamp and the fish of course is hand drawn with the Zyam applicator bottle. But there's color on top of color and it just, um, you know, can you see that? There's so many layers. Now this will get, um, and of course the words is backwards for you, but it says bloom and friend. Um, but then this will get a, a clear on it and it'll be glossy. Here's one without any color. Now this is greenware. It's B mix five mid range fire about cone five or six. Um, these will get fired up. Well, these will get bisque fired first at Oh four. Um, so like this one, um, because it was on greenware, I think if I try to put it under glaze over the top, I'll probably smear what's inside the pear. But I really don't care, but I'm gonna try to um, just put like a, a real light green over that and see if that works because the under glaze will have soaked into the, the greenware. Um, so these are on greenware. And here I did another one here. You can see. So these I'm gonna bisque fire, and then I'm gonna put the color on. I've been trying to do a lot of samples of different things that, you know, like test pieces before I do it on a whole bowl. There's just a little, a little one there. But I thought, so I had this this bowl here uh, that's been bisqued. So th those were greenware I just showed you. This is gonna be bisque. So, or this has been bisque. So, but it has a tiny little crack in the bottom. So I thought I'll play on this bowl and um, see how this turns out. So since I'm not doing it on greenware, I'm gonna put all the color on here, the stamps, everything all at once. And when it's dry, I'm gonna put a clear coat on it. Um, my favorite clear, which, which they've been out of, although I did get, I did get some, is the Amico HF9. That is such a nice glossy clear. It does not cloud. 
um, and, it's, and it's my favorite. I have made recipes of different people's clear, and I just, it's fine if it doesn't get thick, but you know, if you put on even two coats sometimes, you know, where it pulls in a design or something, it seems to get cloudy for me. I don't know, I'm talking with a couple of, a couple of people who have been mixing glazes for a long time and see what they say. But anyway, so I have all sorts of stuff here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Um, well, let me first. So okay, so this is called a potter's pad, and this you can only find these at Minnesota Clay Company. And I think um, oh gosh, there's a couple places that sell them, but they're they're kind of hard to find. But if you go to Minnesota Clay Company, you'll see it up there. This is an underglaze ink pad. And what I did was I actually added a little extra underglaze to it. I just squirted it in there because they've been sitting so long. I have a couple of them. Because I, I bought them, you know, and then it's like I didn't know what to really do with them. I had bought it originally to use my stamp. I had my, my name made into a little stamp. Um, I forget who, who did that anyway. Um, but anyway, so I bought it to put my name stamp in that and put it on the bottom of the bowl. But then I thought, eh, you know, that didn't work out so well because it's plastic. And really for these stamps, you want rubber stamps that works the best. So anyway, so I've got that. So then, um, I thought, well... Because a lot of monoprinting, a lot of people, they put their clay on newsprint. I'm sorry. They put their underglaze on newsprint. And they paint different designs and stuff. And it looks gorgeous. Um, but I'm going to... I didn't have the, I didn't have the best success with that. Um, getting it back off onto my, my piece. So I thought, why not go by blank stamp pads and I'll tell you I accidentally bought the ones this is how this is what happens when you shop too fast <laughs> I bought the ones um, that had ink in them duh I know stupid but um, so I just rinsed rinsed them out but you can buy these without any ink in them and um, I got these at Hobby Lobby and so what I did was I then just poured um, I just took Amico Velvet um, Underglaze and I watered it down a little bit, dumped it in, slowly dumped it in here, you know, drizzled it in there, let it soak in, put a little more in, let it soak in, and um, and that worked out great. And then I have some Speedball here also, and so I have another clear one, not clear but blank I guess, or. So what I'm going to do is, let me lower this down just a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to dump, pour a little bit of this in there. This might be too thick. I might have to add a little bit of uh, water to it. Where is my brush? No, I'll just use this one. I can tell you I probably have too much underglaze here. Well, probably not. It's just a little um, too thick. But it'll it'll eventually um, just the sponge will just soak it up. And then I can just press my rubber stamps in this and just put them right on my bowl without having to, you know, put them on newsprint first. Christopher, I, don't want, I hear my dog whine at the front door. I think he waits till I start to make a video and then he thinks he's going to go out. Crazy dogs. We've got them so spoiled. They want to go out every five minutes. So, okay, so that might, that's probably going to take a little time to soak in. Let's see. So, 
gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit off so I can use it right away but then I'll put it back in put it back on later there we go so okay and then I also have this jelly pad so we get a whole bunch of fun stuff <laughs> um, I hope I don't run out of time to do all this so this this jelly pad here I'm sure you've heard of these before but I think I ordered this from, um, I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but I think I ordered this from Amazon. So I've seen these used too. So we're going to, we're going to try a little bit of both, but because this is bisque, I'm going to put on some color first and I have to kind of think of some stamps I'm going to use where I don't want a lot of color. Like I have some of these blank ones with just words. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it looks like this. Can you see the, there, this might be easier. There you go. So I, I'm not sure why these black things are here. I think it's to stamp with a white and then stamp with black over the top of that, you know, to multi-layer it. But anyway, so this is the one I'm using. It's just this square Chris, Christopher, I'm trying to call my son, let my dog out, lay down, you're not going out, I'm doing a video, <laughs> so, okay, um, so let's get some color on here, I'm going to just put some, I'm not going to, I think I might do it with my fingers, because I don't want, I don't know if I, I don't want it, um, Oh, that's Sophie. She's whining, whining, whining. So let's see. Let's get some color on here. And, and I don't think we want it too dark because we want um, some of this to show up. I don't know if you can see this tray here. So I've sprayed some water. This has been this has been sitting a while. So I went ahead and sprayed some water in each of these to kind of just lighten them up a little bit, loosen them up, and dilute them a little bit. Um, I'm gonna so let's see. So there we go. So I think I'm just gonna. Let's see if this works better. Do a little, I don't know. I don't know if I like this better or not. Hmm. Huh. Can you hear my dog, Sophie? Oh, gosh. Let's see. The reason I like to use my fingers is that I can um, can kind of blend the colors together so that you don't have any harsh edges. Like I want this blue and the green where they meet. I want that to, to blend. Can you see that? See how it's kind of blended rather than... Um, Let's see, let's take some of this color here. This is um, turquoise. I hope you don't hear, hear me saying any bad words and bad words under my breath at those dogs. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them. They just keep whining and whining at the front door and I can't get a hold of my son. I may have to go and let him out. Before I shoot them. No, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> They're just so spoiled. That's the bad thing. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Let's see, let's try this thing here. Yes, I don't know. I don't know if I like the. Let's 
Chris. What? Would you please let those dogs out? Goodness sakes I'm alive. Trying, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm trying to make a video, right? <laughs> they go out seriously a hundred times a day. Chris. I'm making a video. <laughs> God sakes. No, I bet you don't hear any videos of, you know. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, such is the life at the Kester house that these dogs, I think they rule our lives. I swear. As soon as we sit down to eat, they all have to go out. I don't know why. I think they just like to bug us. There we go. See, so even where this blue is meeting the green, you can see it just... Can you see that? How it's just kind of blended together very um in fact I got kind of squares I really don't want this I really don't want actual squares so let me um I'm gonna kind of pull this pull this down the dogs were distracting me I can't I can't multitask anymore I used to be able to but yeah so you don't want a bunch of squares you want you know you want interesting interesting shapes you won't really see, um, you know, a whole bunch of um, shapes anyway by the time you, you know, do the mono printing and put all these extra layers on. But I um, can't think, gosh, I wish I could think of this guy's name. He does these mugs and he makes it look like brick, like cut out, cut, the cutouts look like brick. And they are just gorgeous. I'd love to buy one, but... He sells them for quite a lot of money. And it, and it's worth it. I mean, he, you know, it's worth it. I mean, he puts a lot of time and so just kind of out of my price range. But his work is just awesome. Just awesome. So I used to do, when I first started doing all this, I was doing a lot of bowling. And I wish you could see that. I don't think it's going to show up um, as well. Uh, maybe put the light better. I don't think this uh, new phone I got, I don't think it shows the colors very well. Because these colors really look pretty. So I'm going to put some yellow. Because I know if I put yellow, um, it will show up. The stamps will show up really well. And I know I want to do a hand-drawn flower with the Zyam applicator bottle. And if you, you know, add a lot of water, that's why, that's the reason I, I kind of like when these dry out just a little bit because they're more concentrated. Um, but I know by themselves, if they're watered down, they really can burn out. Um, the greens, the greens like to turn brown a little bit. The, um, my reds, my reds, my reds have been turning brown. I don't know. Not when I put them on thick though. You really, you, if you want it, the, the true color, you really probably have to put three coats on. At least that's been my, um, my uh, experience, you know. Put a little orange in there. So like I said, this bowl has been fired at cone five. Oh no, 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 no. Oh four, jeez. It will be fired at cone five, but I bisque fired 04, um, and that has really helped um, by firing it that hot. I don't have um, pinholing. I don't have much pinholing anymore. So let's do. Seeing where the blue is overlapping the yellow, you can even see 
it turning a little green. So, oh, now they want to come in. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Christopher. I know he gets tired of being the babysitter. That's what he calls himself, the doggy babysitter. But Okay, let's put a little more yellow on here. Right where those are blended. I don't know if you can see that I'm just loving. I'm going to wet my finger down and see this is so hard to do with a brush. And how the blue and the yellow are mixing and making making some green. Maybe I don't have on here yet is some purple. I need a little bit of purple. Let's see. I think I picked the lighter purple. I think this is the uh, violet. I have a couple different oh, colors of purple. Little bit of little bit of water to this so it flows a little better. I hope everybody's holiday was good. Mine was mine was good, very good. Uneventful, which you know is always is always good. I'm gonna take my brush and kind of get down into the, the crevice there. I don't want uh, any white spots down in there. And the green is avocado. A lot of my colors I just mix, I kind of mix up by hand. Um, I put them in here, and then if I don't like the color, I add, you know, something. But the green is a straight avocado. I think the blue is, too. I'm trying to switch back to Amico Velvets, because I had some problems with the, with the speed ball sticking to the bottom of the kiln. But I know, um, you know, if any underglaze, if you apply it too thick, they do all kind of have the uh, possibilities of sticking. Okay, so you can see so far, I'm trying not to make any type of pattern. Um, We get a little bit of finger penning, a little bit of mono printing, a little bit of rubber stamping. <laughs> this bowl can have a little bit of everything. And when I'm done, when this is dry, I can feel some little grit in the underglazes, and I'm not sure um, if that's a chemical reaction because I know. Um, some glazes will develop oolites and they're little, uh, they feel like little clay balls that come out of the, your glazes. And, um, once you paint it on, you just need to, you know, take your hand and kind of wipe them off because the oolites will not dissolve in the, um, glaze firing. It's almost like a, almost like a calcium, um, build up. Okay, let's um, see. Then I'm going to look around the bowl and see. So I have orange on this side, so I definitely want to add a little orange on this side to balance out the color. And 
and you you know you want to pick colors that obviously go together and the inside I I'm not sure what I'll do with the inside I think what I'll do is probably put a stamp something just down in the center um, to add a little color but I'll, most of my it's gonna be on the outside here Now my dog's snoring over there. If you can, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. Okay, so I got orange. I need. I got greens and purple. I think I need another. I need another purple kind of over here to balance out the purple I have on the other side. So. So it's always nice to kind of balance out your colors. And I'm going to try and blend that purple with the yellow there. I think I'll add just a touch more yellow because I want that to stay bright. I don't want it too mottled with the... There we go. Okay. Hmm. So I got yellow... I'm going to add more yellow. I think I'm going to add more yellow there. I don't want to add one, I don't want to add one triangular or a rectangular patch. So I think I'll maybe I'll add, I think I'll bring this blue over a little bit. I really don't want, uh, like I said, like a triangular or you know a grid pattern or <clears throat> something like that. I want it, I want it free flowing. I don't really um, plan out too well what I'm going to do. I think it's my ADHD. I'm not I'm not good at directions or. To sit down and figure it all out is, uh, no. I think I'm too right brain for that, too. <laughs> I just like to dabble, doodle, and play with it and see how it turns out. I don't want to do art that's going to make me think too much, right? I want to enjoy it. So I hope you, can see, you guys can see this pretty well. So you can see I don't like how the the purple, the violet there. So I'm going to add just a little more violet so it mixes a little better here. I want a softer transition between the two colors. Like I said, you're probably not going to. By the time I get all the stamps and whatnot on here. You're not you're not going to see the transitions too much anyway. But I need a little bit of water on my finger so I can kind of. And I don't want my, I don't really want my fingerprints on here either, so the water kind of gets rid of that. A little bit of sponge. There we go. And it, thank goodness, this dries pretty fast, so. I don't have to, um, I don't have to wait, you know, to, and I, I'll clean up this foot a little more later. I don't want to bore you guys too much with that, but I will clean that up a little more later. And I'll probably do some kind of design on the bottom too. Um, in fact, let me add a little bit of. water bucket to oh let's see I'm gonna add a little bit of this like this blue is strictly made up it's this electric blue from speedball what is that 
royal blue. It's royal blue from Speedball, but then I added um, some black to it. So it's not really a color anymore, you know, to give it a name. I wanted more like a stone blue, and I couldn't find the color I wanted. So, all right. Let's, let's get to the stamping. I think um, YouTube probably will cut me off in an hour, so... Let's see. Okay. I'm going to try and finish this up quick on this bottom, so doesn't cut into our other time because we got to see what that's going to do I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying warm it's it's cold here where i'm at but i'm in ohio so it's not I mean, it's not too bad we have cold and then it warms up and cold and, but gosh up north i know minnesota and vermont and whew, it's been frigid i don't i don't think i could do that i do not like the cold too much okay let's see now what to do first I've just got so much stuff here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Look, let's take the jelly plate because I'm curious about this jelly plate. <clears throat> so if I make any mistakes, you guys can learn from my mistakes. All right. So I've got my little. This is. I'm gonna lay that down in my. Uh, too much stuff here not not a big enough table so I'm gonna take this rubber stamp and put it in this this is my Minnesota clay company potters pad ah fell out I'm gonna press that down in there I gotta lay this down so it and if it doesn't go on all the way it really is not you know not really a big deal. okay so I'm gonna put this over here oh I like that I like it So see, um, see how that went on? Ah, I like it, I like it. So let's, let's put that on the other side, or around, not quite on the other side, but I kind of want it balanced. So I just put this underglaze in this ink pad, so it would probably be even a little better um, if it was stickier, you know, drier. So I'm going to put this on this side. There we go. So that looks like that. I'm going to rinse this off and lay that back over here and let's see so I'm gonna so okay so like this thing here I wanted some music I could only find it with a hard back well obviously you know you can't put that on here so I'm gonna take some underglaze out of my tray and I'm just going to brush this on here. And 
If I had a bigger ink pad, I could just stamp it, but this is a this is a pretty big stamp. And this would would work. Um you know, I could stamp directly. If I was doing a plate or a platter, then I could just stamp directly on there. I wouldn't have to use the jelly the jelly pad thingy majig. So this isn't sticking to this whole thing. And I don't know if it's because of the underglaze or because this is new and it probably has some kind of a, a rubber like preservative on it. So let's see. So like I said, this is like graffiti, so it doesn't really even, it doesn't matter. Well, that came out a mess. That did not work, Lisa. Hmm. I think the underglaze maybe is too, um, too thin. Or maybe, like I said, I think there's some, it's like there's a resist. So I might have to come back to this. Let me just try it again one more time. I usually water down my under, my black underglaze because I use it for, um, usually my Zyam applicator bottle. So, but gosh, this thing's been... Uh, sitting out I did I did spray the black underglaze with some water so that could be it so what I think I'm going to do is set this down and let this let this get a little sticky it has to be a little stickier I think so I'm going to set that down and let's move on okay so let's try um Let's try this leaf. This is um, a leaf I got from the Stampin' Up. So it's pretty old. It's never even it's never even been used. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the the blue pad here. That doesn't look like it's sticking very well either. I'm not having much luck with these. So. I've used them before and they work out great. I just think, um, you know, when you're trying to do a video. I think because these stamps are new, you know, they, um, like I said, they have some kind of a preservative on them so the rubber doesn't dry rot. Uh, because the, um, the, the pair I used came out of the same box and that worked great. So, okay, so I've got some underglaze on there, and I'm going to find, a, since this is blue, I'm going to find green, or a light color, any light color, and press that on there, and eh, that didn't really work that well, I'm not, not real happy with, um, with that, I may have to... Yeah. Hmm. I may have to do the same thing with like with that one is let it sit a little bit. Okay, so let's this is a little kitty cat. Let's put the cat on here. I know this is an old one. Yeah, and this one's sticking much better too. I've used this stamp plenty of times. This is um, a little K cat. <laughs> so I'm going to find a spot to put him. I think I'll set him right over here. And when you press down, you want to hold it in place so you don't want to move it around too much. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that turned out perfect. Look at that little kitty cat. That turned out great. Great. And then I have a little tree. Uh, this is a new one, too. I wonder how this one will turn out. It's amazing. I had all these things, and then I don't even... 
Never even used them. I'm going to try and put green, green under glaze on here. Or maybe these are too old. Maybe they're because they're... I mean, literally, I bought, have, I bought these things like... Oh, gosh. Ten years ago? Oh, God. She would always, you know, try to... She would have to sell like $200 worth of stamps a month in order to stay a Stampin' Up! rep, I think. So I always tried to, you know... Buy stamps. And I, you know, I liked them too, so... It wasn't like it was a, a burden. <laughs> Remember, I don't know, I used to make a bunch of cards and I still have a bunch of paper to make cards. But you know, most people get a card and they just throw it away and it. you think, my gosh, I just spent an hour making one card and so then they throw it in the garbage. I'd rather, I'd rather make a piece of artwork that some you know, watercolors or pottery or something people hang on the wall and so I'm gonna let this sit just a second and let that stiffen up I put some avocado under glaze I just smeared it on my finger okay let's see we gotta hurry because gosh I think I I'm already at 41 minutes lordy lordy I don't have time to I gotta move faster don't I? Let's see. I guess I should. Well, that turned out good too. I might have to do a couple of those. And I'm just using this again. I'm not even going to put it back in there. And that it was plenty. I could probably use it again. Let's see. In fact, let's put it on the bottom and see. You know, if it doesn't work out, I can put this under the sink, wash this all off, and start over. Yeah, it actually worked good on the bottom again, too. I'm going to, let's see if I can move this over so you guys, I hope you can see it okay. Um, okay. Gosh, there's so many stamps. What to choose next? Oh, and I got some little paw prints. some um these are like stamps I wonder if the yellow will work I think let's do the black oh let's see Oh, yeah, that looks, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I used it again, so... And I got a little fishy. Of course I have a little fishy. I need to do him in orange, though. I think all I'll do is just... I wish I hadn't sprayed any water in my underglazes. I think, you know, the thicker they are, it would have, it would have worked out much better. Um, because they're, because I spray a little water in there, I think they're actually a little too thin. I don't think, let's see, I'm going to try that on here, the paper, newspaper first. Yeah, see, that doesn't, I shouldn't have put any water at all in the underglazes that I have in my tray. They were, they were a little stiff. I thought maybe they'd be too stiff, but okay. So I want to have a doggy over there too. Let's see. So I'm just gonna put the fish 
in the black pad here. You really can't see that, can you? Let me remove that. There you go. Move that down a little bit. This one's never been used before either, so I think what I'll do is put that in the orange. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. You can see that's a fish. Um, and then so what I also wanted to do, let's see, and then I can take, I even have, this is a transfer. So you can buy these from Ellen Tran, Ellen, Ellen transfers. I have a whole bunch. So I cut this, just cut this out. And what I'm going to do, another little kitty cat, is I'm going to find a spot on here. Put the cat. Okay, then I'm going to take a damp sponge. So you can use transfers, stamps. Um, I mean, and you just want to get that wet when it still sticks. Whoops. You don't want to rub too hard because you can smear it. But because you're putting it on bisware and not greenware, you're putting on a, on a surface that's completely dry. Um, you're going to have to wet it. And let's see, I wanted to take a, the end of a cork. Eh, where's my rib? Take one of my rubber ribs. And just kind of All right, let's see um, how that comes off. The tail needs to be a little wetter. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. I probably should have burnished it. I'm actually kind of hurrying because I run out of time. So that's a transfer. And so what I did here. I took these were a transfer that I cut up in petals. So this is an actual flower transfer, but I cut it off, cut it up in the shape of petals. So I'm gonna find a spot on here. I wonder if you guys can see it, okay? Something I could prop that up on so you could see it. I'm gonna take, I've got a bowl here. I'm gonna set it like that so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to take a damp sponge and sponge it on. I'm going to take another one. And sponge it on. So I'm actually using, like I said, a transfer that's cut up into a flower. And you can use, you know, just cut the flower up and use the actual flower, but, you know, I thought that'd be too easy. And 
And then I think what I'll do is dab maybe some underglazes in the center. And I'm actually going to try to put some color on these. It's probably going to be too long of a video. So I'm going to let that sit just a second there. And I have to uh, do some other stuff. Let's see. Um, So many. Oh, here's another kitty cat. I don't know if I'll do a cat. Let's see. Hmm, let's try this tree. looks right. Well, I didn't really save enough room for my uh, my my music over there. I'm putting this rubber stamp here in the blue. And I don't think yeah, that's not strong enough. This definitely works better when your underglazes are a little dried out. Um, okay. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put this over here, maybe, there we go. Hold it in place and then gently press down. There you go. And you really can't make a mistake. I mean, it's a graffiti bowl, right? And then this is this is the word meow. Let me put that. Uh, I'm gonna put that in the black too. that right over here next to the key cat. Oh, that turned out really nice. Look at that one. Meow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back to these flowers. I was just kind of, like I said, transfers work best when you're putting them on a damp surface. Um, you just really have to activate the underglaze that's on there. So that's why I'm going to let them sit there just a second. I can burnish them a little bit here. Burnish them on. And like I said, if they, you know, they don't work all the way, it's okay. And like I said, I am, I am hurrying a little bit because... I mean, I want to put a bunch more stuff on here. I've got more rubber stamps and um, all sorts of, I mean, you can put dots and um, let's see, here's another stamp. This one is of a postage stamp, kind of like the one over here. So I'm going to put this one over here. Oh, that turned out nice. You can kind of see so far, this is a pretty good sized bowl, so this is probably going to take, take me a while. 
Oh yeah, that's turning out. Look at that. Can you? Let me pull you closer here. There you go. Nice, nice. Yep, I love that. And then I'm going to take, let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to take some bright yellow here and just dab it in the center. Ah, it wants to run. Gosh, Lisa, you said, shouldn't have put water in here, huh? Note to self. Do not water down the underglazes very much. I will not fire this um, before I put the clear on, though. I will definitely um, let this dry. And um, I think I'll add a little bit of orange in there, too. Uh, maybe a little bit of red, too. Let me mix up the red. I will definitely let this dry um, and then put the... Um, um, the clear on it before it's glazed fire. I will not do an extra firing. I don't know. A lot of people do. I just, I, I don't. I, I've never had it, trouble with it smearing. That wants to run a little bit. I know I'm out of camera view, aren't I? So can you see that? Can you see that? flower so before I get kicked off of here because I probably will but I can always start it start it again and add it together I don't think there's a limit if you add two videos together I don't know I need to so okay with this flower here can you see that flower Let's back it up just a little bit. Look at that face. <laughs> I didn't realize that woman's face is really just staring out, isn't it? Yeah. Don't don't look at us. Okay. I gotta back this up just a little bit. Get my big hand out of the way. Okay. So normally I will let this dry a little more, but. Goodness sakes, it's already clogged up. I just let my underglaze stay in the bottle. So sometimes it sometimes it clumps a little bit, but as long as it's upside down, I usually don't have a problem. But this has been a long time since I've actually done um, too much pottery. You can see me. I'm so if it gets um, if it gets globbed up, just put the needle back in the pin and. I think I'm going to do two is I'm going to draw the leaves on by hand.
this needle tool, needle or the pin and just kind of just kind of gook it up. I actually don't have too much of a problem. Um, well, some days are better than others. Like I said, this applicator bottle has been sitting for probably two months without being used. So, if it globs up, I deserve it. I let it sit too long, didn't I? There we go. I really like that. These kind of bowls, um, you know, they're so much different than a bowl you just dip into a glaze and um, and that's it. That's the color. And those, those are beautiful bowls. Don't, you know, don't get me wrong. But these bowls, I don't know, they're, they have so much character and they tell a story. Look at that. I really like that. And then I'm going to... Gosh, I, I do like that. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a flower over here on top of this before, before I'm done here. Let's see, where can I put one? Since there's one right there, I think I'll do one here. And I'm going to do it right over the top of the fish stamp. started teaching again. My my class was all started up this week. So I've been busy teaching and that's always fun. I have a lot of new people in this one class and um gosh it's you know it's 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 you wanna be with everybody to help everybody at one time but it's just so hard being one teacher and I think there was uh probably six new people, brand new people and um, but it's so fulfilling when you're teaching and um, all of a sudden somebody just gets it and, you know, all of a sudden they're making these beautiful bowls and you're like, yes, you know, you feel like you've, um, you know, done something, something right. So I just love it when they, because with clay, it's really anybody can do it. It's just, just a matter of practice. Um, and having short nails, <laughs> having long nails really makes it a little bit harder. Um, I'll put a leaf, I'm putting leaves on here now. Although I know some people who do it long nails, I don't know how they do. Even with my short nails, I constantly am accidentally digging into the clay. So most of these are all Amico Velvet Underglazes um, that I'm using. I really like those. And so, let's see what else we can do here. Um, let's do a little flower here. Since flowers probably are my favorite thing to draw. I'm going to actually make some candles, too, and um, make some candle holders. I've never done candles before, but I'm going to do some simple ones, just a couple simple ones with, like, different scents, like coffee. That's a, that's a neat. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a coffee person. I don't like the 
taste of it, but um, I'm a teetotaler. But I love the smell of coffee. So just a couple cents. I've got the, I've got the uh, containers made. Now I just have to make the candles. Melt the wax and add the scent. And I'm making soap dishes too. That's going to be another class. Um, and I'm going to try my hand at making some homemade soaps to put in them. I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm trying to, trying to branch out. People who buy, it seems like a lot of people who buy my pottery are buying it as gifts for people. So I think that's, you know, a really good idea to think about, you know, gift ideas. So, okay, on the bottom, I'm going to do another flower. Sometimes these things work really well, and it, it really is. If I had bisque fired this, I wouldn't have this problem. That's why a lot of people do it on greenware, uh, and then they and then they bisque fire it, and then they draw on them and add the the clear because then you don't have the little clay boogers getting inside your applicator bottle, but. I don't like, um, in fact, this I made this big bowl last week, and it was greenware. It had not been bisfired. And I had all these flower transfers to put on it. Put all these flower transfers on it. And because, you know, you're adding some water to it, I turned the bowl upside down after I put all the transfers on it. And then I covered it in plastic. Um, and I came back and the rims was all cracked. I mean, in multiple places because I had messed with it, I guess, and um, put too much pressure on the rim as I was, you know, pressing down the transfers. And that, and I must have expanded the rim. So that's, that made me mad. <laughs> That's why I don't like to work on greenware too much. Because greenware is just so fragile. You really um, you really have to uh, catch it at the right stage of leather hardness. So there's the bottom. I still want to add some stamps to the side. I don't know. Let's see if this tree works now. Oh, I'm off camera. Uh, I need to get a better stand for my phone. I just film with my phone, you know, like So that is not turning out the best. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'll even know what it is. And I think it's because, like I said, the greenware. So I think what I'll do is um, kind of just smush it in there. And I'll make something. I'll, I'll put another stamp over the top. It'll dry and just need to do. Actually, I could do a transfer, too, on the top of that. I, don't know. I have a whole bunch of transfers on here. Let's see, in here. But, I don't know if I have any. Uh, I don't know if I have any that small. Hmm. I've got rolls and rolls of them, but I don't have them cut up, so I don't want to take too long to be rooting around. Let's see, here's one here. 
This is an acorn. Yeah, these these glazes you gotta kinda make sure that they're dried out a little more. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? I think I'll put another one. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing it in this, I'll show you. Dabbing it in this tray that had some old underglaze in it. So as long as the and, I, and then I put some let me back this thing up a little bit. There you go. Sorry about moving this around. I don't know if they have better ones or so I put some underglaze on the newspaper. And that works. That's will suck the moisture out of it. So that there you go. So then you get a good stamp. Can you see that? I don't know. I was gonna go over this flower, these flower petals with a cover, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. But this one, I don't know. Let's do the bottom one. Let's do the bottom one. Because <clears throat> that was kind of my plan. Is remember I did that um, when I made these. See how I went over with the uh, red underglaze. And I will, um, I have a huge bisque firing. I don't have a lot of stuff bisqued because um, I've been making stuff for the last couple of weeks. Um, trying to fill a whole uh, kiln. And that's, you know, I, I probably, you know, it's nice to have a large kiln and a small kiln so that you don't have to fill an entire kiln of stuff just to do a couple tests because um, I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm trying differently there you go you see that and actually, I actually think I'm going to do this one too do the red again like the bottom that'll tie those two together and it's kind of uh, translucent the amico velvets are a little translucent that's why it helps to let them dry out dry out a little bit to get a richer color um, the Amigo LUGs, the lugs, uh, they're more opaque, so they're um, a little bit more pigmented, but they don't have a lot of colors. I know when I looked on there, um, and you can, you know, mix them, of course, which is what I'll probably end up doing because I didn't see um, I, 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 have too, I have too much stuff on this table there we go so what do you think so far Just smeared. Yeah, I did a little bit, not too much. Forgot that flower on the bottom was still a little damp. I 
think we'll do that one too. I think I'll add some color to that. What do you think? Um, I think I'll add some turquoise. I've got my tray here of all my underglazes. Normally I don't um, add color like this. I just let the underneath color show through, but since this is a doodle bowl, a graffiti bowl, and I'm not going to go over the little fishy there. I don't know if you can see that. But what I was getting at before, I kind of got off track, is that I'm going to um, do a bisque firing and then um, and then I'll do I gotta, so I'll have a lot of glaze videos uh, before I can do a glaze kiln because my kiln is fairly large and it takes a while to fill it up so I kind of wish I had a smaller one I just don't have the room for it I just don't have a big studio I work out of my house There we go. Oh, whoops, wrong color, Lisa. You're not in the you're not in the aqua, you're in the green. Pay attention. I love this turquoise color. This color here is um, an original color also. This isn't one that I've altered. And it usually turns out really pretty like the color of the water down in Key West it's a place I'd like to visit someday that water just so pretty alrighty I need more I need more stamps hmm What that music one is this is another one that I bought now it's got some birds and stuff on it I don't know let's see here let's put some some underglaze on here see if it I may have to rub uh, rub these down with alcohol to get whatever is resisting my underglazes, get it off of there. It's probably got too much on it. Let's see, what am I going to, um, I did get pretty much stuff on here. Over, I'll put it over here where this green patch is at. And I could do another transfer. I may, um, the transfers worked really nice. There we go. And then I had some little, I have to get some of those. Let's see here. Don't. Oh, here's some. Butterfly in there. These ones without the hard backs are the best. The see-through rubber, uh, rubber ones are nice. They seem to, they seem to work much better than the ones that are on the wood. So here's, as I said, these are on here so good because they've never been used. I'm just gonna dab it in this black. 
we're putting it in this in my tray here. And I'm going to put it right, right here because you can't really have a bare spot. There you go. That looks really nice. Yeah. So these these clear rubber ones, if you can find those, they they work um, much nicer than the brown, the brown rubber ones. But I think I think these have some kind of, um, like I said, some kind of a resist on there to preserve. Um, to preserve the, the, the rubber, you know, so it doesn't dry rot. I'm going to put half of it up here. And then I will, I will clean off the foot, but boy, that goes on nice. Really nice. Look at that. I like that. And then let's see here. I got... Here's some fun little stamps. This one, oh, here's a little one that says happy. I like little happy stamps. And that came out a little dark. I really can't tell what that is. I'm going to put it up here. There we go. Got a little bit off of it. So I think if you press it evenly, oh, that turned out good. So it says happy. I really like this flower one. That one really turned out nice. Okay, let's do a few more here before I let you guys go. There's a fun little flower. Come on. <clears throat> Cute, that turned out nice. Yeah, so these graffiti bowls, how much fun are these? I could sit here all day and add all this stuff. I mean, you know, the, the question is, when do you stop? When do you stop? I got, I got to add a couple more. A couple more. And then I'll... How about a... Um, how about another meow? So I'm, I'm going to... I'm dabbing this in my... Um, under glaze stamp and I think I'm just going to put it over the bottom of this flower because it stands out maybe a little too much oh look at that right over there that looks good 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 um, and let's see let's try another fishy one he didn't work he didn't work that great the first time because I think I had him I don't know Seems like some of them really um, get the uh, really attack. Or, yeah, some of them really absorb the uh, underglaze, and some of them repel it, which is kind of weird. I mean, that turned out good too. That turned out pretty good. Okay, let me put one of those on the bottom. Yeah, that didn't work out too good. I think the. Uh, Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so what do you guys think? My mono printing bowl. Now, um, like I said, some people they will put all this a bunch of color on a newsprint, just like newspaper, and then when it loses its shine, you lay it over your greenware bowl. And attach it and then you pull it off and it has like rough edges and things so they're doing these are a little bit different I, sh 
So there's the bottom. And then, so this will be the bowl. And I might add a couple things. But, um, so I'll just put a clear on this. I really like how that turned out. I think that's one of my favorite things. I don't know. I might go back and put green on, green on the leaves. I'm not sure. The music pattern here turned out okay, but the pear, I like the pear there. Meow. A little fishy up there. So I will do a glaze fire and I'll show um, how this turned out. And I'll put something in the bottom. I'm not sure. But I'm going on an hour and 20, almost an hour and a half. So that's too long. <laughs> So I will get this uploaded, but yeah, so let me know what you think. I'm going to do some more. So this was a good first start. Like I said, I did, um, let me turn, set this here. Cause see, look at that. Look how cute those are. I mean, you can draw on them, you know, and then paint it in like I do with the little fish. Um, And then there's this one here with a, I really like the ones with the music behind it. And then they draw over it. So these will be much brighter when they're fired with a clear glaze. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I will leave me some feedback. I try to answer everybody. Um, but for some reason they don't all come through. I don't quite understand why not. I'll probably add maybe a couple more in there. And like this one, I think the black will that's underneath here will kind of show through this blue. So I don't like how that's not outlined very well there. I might go over that again. Maybe I'll do that now real quick. Real quick, right? Ah, oh, my thing's clogged up. I let it sit. Yikes. Let's see. I can get it to work. <laughs> Let me go over that again. Remember to squeeze your bottle and to pull it away from you when you're using these on um, under glazes that have not been bisque fired. Otherwise, you'll constantly uh, get the tip clogged up. And some of these glazes or under glazes underneath may come through on these flowers too. So there we go. All right. Thank you for watching. And I'd appreciate it if you'd like and, sh and share. If you think this would help somebody else, please share it. That will help me greatly. But thanks for watching. And, um, I hope you get something out of this, and I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.